Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our modded series with the custom map. So uh, we've uh, got the basic infrastructure in place already. And honestly, looking at this, I, I don't know why did I even bother with the water wheel. We should have gone beaver power. Actually, what's going on here? We still have a bit of flow. Oh yeah, we uh, the drought is in three days it's not here just yet so let's unpause you as well let's get this built go for this episode we need blanks we're gonna need some more advanced materials because there isn't a whole lot of trees left in here so uh, we're, we're gonna have to fix this as quick as we can now can we get these built as well how many builders do we have let's just double check okay we got three that's quite a few and we should probably save up a bit more water as well. I really want those bigger ones, but that's going to require gears as well. Oh dear. Okay. Okay. One step at a time. Let's see how this goes. We'll, we'll speed it up just in a, in a second. But um, before starting this episode, I had a quick look around the map as well. And um, I know I said it, it's on hard mode. And it's not going to be as hard or difficult because we've got some mods that are helping us out i mean the unified factions for example we've got power for days once we get those windmills up what i was looking around is i really love this map i love the the environment around the formations the canyons the mountains and i was just thinking well if we're gonna have those 30 day droughts then i'm gonna be so sad i do not want to destroy any of those formations that the uh, i think uh, it was summer that created this map it's just so beautiful that i'd hate to destroy anything so having massive reservoirs i'd really struggle to put one up one up so i did a little bit of thinking and i think what could make sense is i think i don't mind actually let's go back in here hide the water okay there we go i think one of our options could be to use some of those lakes that already has water in them and then we could dynamite the life out of it and deepen it as much as we can. Because now with the uh, uh, electric pumps, or what, what were they called again? Were they under power? No, they must have been under water somewhere. Oh yeah, those water pumps. Mechanical pumps. Uh, we could bring that water out. Because with the levees, it's, uh, it's a bit of a struggle. Yeah, it's only three levels. I wish they went a little bit. Or there was a different solution for bigger tanks. Anyways, we're getting a little sidetracked here. So we could deepen these lakes and wait. Oh, there's a underground mine or ruins over here. Well, that's going to be interesting with everything that I just said. I don't know if we're going to be able to exploit or use this mine in here. Anyway, so yeah, we could use some of those lakes. Let's hide the UI once again. Uh, this one, for example, could be a pretty big reservoir. I probably don't mind deepening some of those waterways or the, the canyons, the rivers. Uh, this one, yeah, definitely make it a little bit deeper. And um, another thing as well, I don't want to ruin the natural beauty of this map. So what I mean is by we could have a lot of water in here and turn this. We will probably turn this into Peak Lake. But what I don't want to do is surround this whole area with levees just to raise the water level. I probably don't mind doing it at the, um, at the edge of the map. That's probably fine. But... Yeah, I don't, yeah, it's 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 difficult, but I think that's a potentially a solution we could go with. So all the existing rivers could get a little bit deeper, especially now that we have those better pumps as well. Right back to our episode. How far is this building? Only two logs. What is going on? We got loads of logs. What are you guys up to? Can we give this a higher priority? Yes, we can. After the previous video as well, I know it was a bit of a comeback and amazing feedback that has come from you was just very very lovely to read and see so thank you so much for taking the time to note down some of your thoughts and comments uh it was it was just awesome to read through them and it's great to see some of the other people that uh that we have missed for qu uh, quite some time it's great to see you back with us again as well i do understand that the vast majority pretty much everyone found this channel through our timberborn uh, series in the in the earlier days but hoping to keep it a bit of um, or give you a bit of variety as well so with a couple of different games that i do love so we'll play some oxygen not included and going medieval our castle is starting to look pretty great as well anyways let's focus on the beavers 
Uh, drought 1.8 days. Uh, oh, nope, that's not the button I wanted to click. Where are we now? Oh dear. Okay, let's go back there. And I think we would probably... Let's just slow down a little bit. Uh, how many logs are you going to take? We've got a few right now. But we'll place down a couple more of these. Can we pause now? Okay, so this is working. We are going to need a beaver here. Pause this for a second. I don't want to do too much micro. But we'll do just a little bit for the time being. And you're already full of logs but need seven blanks. Okay, so get this done please. Uh, with the crops, we are going to reduce the amount of carrots very soon, but for the time being, just for the droughts, we're going to have a couple of options. And now that we have some potatoes, I think it's a good time to put down the grill as well. And this could be a decent location right next to the farm. Pretty centralized spot here, so let's, uh, let's have you there. Now, have we made any blanks? Just one. Oh dear, that's gonna take some time. Okay. Um, how about the 15 logs? Okay, so that's not too bad. We could do another one. Being space smart, are we gonna be able to have one? Two in here. Oh, there's a bit of a gap. Okay, and then we could turn. Oh yeah, you connect from there. Okay, that's, that's actually gonna work out pretty well because for the power, where are those hamster wheels? There we go. We could have one of you here. Other way around. Yep, connect you up like so. Uh, actually, you haven't put anything in here yet. No, you have not. Okay, so that's great. Uh, one second. You are the highest of priorities. Now, let's do another lumber mill just over here. We'll give you a road as well. Then we can do another one here. And put a hamster wheel right next to it. Okay, great. I don't think we're gonna need you anymore, so let's take you out. And here, nope, that's fine. A few good comments there as well. In, on the previous video, cutting the trees, this area, yep, that... Uh, I noticed already in the Folktale series as well that this is lag hell. So once it's been chopped down let's remove oh dear that's just a lot let's remove this so we'll get some of that fps back as well uh no 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 you can take down these trees that's okay and i guess because our colony is so small we'll leave it in until we figure out where exactly the forest is going to be now uh, let's put the water back there as well are we getting close to it just a few more blanks please Anyone unemployed? No. We got three children. And let's set you up. Water. Empty water. Maybe not so. Uh, empty here. Okay, we're gonna need another beaver. Uh, let's see. Do we have any spare ones? No, let them cut some trees. Are you full? No, you're not. Okay, so that's alright. Oh dear, that's just taking very slow to get those blanks in. Uh, let's check. 50 hamster power, you're producing us 120, and that power is about to disappear. Uh, uh yeah, okay, hamster wheels it is. Uh, that means we're gonna have to build you. Okay, let's get you done. What are you guys doing? If you're not... Uh, you have been building this one here as well, okay, gotcha. So... We shall have just another one in here, and then a hamster wheel. Okay, this way around. And how much power are you giving it? Is that changed? No, that's still 50. Okay, so that's going to power one of these. The drought is now here, five days. Oh dear, okay. We'll be fine though. We will be fine. We are going to need someone here. I think our water's going down. Okay, beautiful. And uh, let's have a look. Where are you guys going? Oh, he's taking planks over. And that should be the last one. Okay, great. Now, we are gonna need someone. Farmhouse. Well, food seems to be okay. So let's take one of them out. We're not getting any more planks. Could use a beaver in here. And now is the time to... Oh, maples take 
30 days to grow now. Well, that's not nice. I mean, I guess that's that's fair. It was a, a lot more powerful than any of the other trees, but we are still gonna go. Let's see, chestnuts. They give us four logs. Eight. Uh, no, maple seems to be still the way to go. So, let's just have a few in here. And by few, I mean just a, just a couple. Okay, that should be good. Let's make sure this beaver is very busy with these maples here. And you know what? This whole area, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, that that should be should be plenty for now. Okay. So that's the trees. Hopefully uh, sorted. Are you planting already, or what are you up to? Yes, you are. Okay, beautiful. Now science points. We're gonna need some more science. Couple of things I want to go for. What are you guys building? Uh, this is the highest. This is the next one. And then we'll do you. Well, this is almost done as well, so that's fine. You're gonna finish these trees off. Is anyone working here? Okay, so that's our bit of an emergency stock here. And I guess uh, we probably should have opened this up a little bit earlier, but that is okay. Right. Really love the beginning of, uh, of a new series. There's just so many things to do and trying to prioritize one over another is or can be quite a bit of a challenge as well sometimes right but we are uh, somewhat on track we don't really need anyone to work here so we can pause this we just want to pass this power through and then uh, in the future we'll probably have them open as well but for the time being let's um let's get you done as well we'll have someone running here in no time and um, I just remembered another comment. I know these beavers are iron teeth, but with the unified factions that we have, uh, at first I thought we were going to need beaver boards as well to increase the population, but it seems that by placing down the folktale houses, the mechanics of their reproduction uh, come from the uh, from this uh, these houses, so we don't need beaver boards. Uh, as you can see, we are. Without any beaver bonds being constructed, we've we've gone up. Our population is growing, for sure. No recipe selected. Let's have a quick look. And grilled potatoes, please. There we go. We can pause you as well. Nail it there. Just one more hamster wheel there. And we're almost done. Uh, anyways, yeah. So it, it seems just by placing down folktale houses, our population is growing. Um, I, I'm guessing once we start putting down the the houses then we're gonna need some pods so that's gonna be interesting as well and um, yeah I guess we'll see how that goes another thing I wanted to check oh that takes 400 science oh but it's so nice to have them again what is going on okay so let's cut down I think everything in here, so then we can cross over. Let's grab a road and take down these trees. Okay, there we go. How much water do we have? Not too much, so I don't want to open it just yet. I think. But though, we go from here. Keep this road straight. Then we don't have to open it, or... yeah. Uh, damn, I don't want to waste those logs just yet until we have some more growing. There's a few maples already in. Which is great, don't get me wrong, that's beautiful, but it's gonna take another 24... Sorry, 30 days now. Yeah, that's quite some time. Uh, how are we doing with water? It's okay. And... Okay, six more logs, and then we can have a bit more, bit more of those blanks. Now we don't have a warehouse, do we? No, no, we don't. Okay, so how about uh, where's the small warehouse? There we go. And I guess we could do. Let's just put it here. Yeah, it doesn't matter too much right now. It's fine. It is okay. You're hungry. Don't, oh, we don't have any food. How come? Uh, maybe we should have another farmer. 
Carrot. No, let's not have focus. Let's do harvesting. Seems food is a bit of an issue right now. District center. Probably don't need... Are we constructing anything? No, we're not. Let's just leave one in there. I'd like to have someone grilling those potatoes. And... Okay, we're gonna need a beaver in here as well to generate some power. But where can we grab a spare one? Everyone's pretty needed right now. Science points. Yeah, we could probably take one from here. And here we go. We do have a beaver there now. Okay, beautiful. Just 1.1 days left for that. And uh, logs. Really worried about those logs. But I'm hoping... What's your range? Yeah, you can take down all of these ones. Now, another thing I noticed here, and I think already in our previous playthroughs as well, some of those trees seem to have resin on them. And um, I'm completely honest, I have of course noticed some of the updates before, but I have done very little investigation as in what are they going to be used for. So it's going to be interesting for me to discover those things and different recipes as well, uh, such as in, in here, grilled potatoes and if we change this, grilled chestnuts, spatter dog, okay. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to pull open that mighty old Excel sheet again just to compare different bonuses and what we want to go for, but for the, for the time being, uh, we'll... We'll be fine with everything. Okay, so the drought is ended. I think this storage here. What we'll do is let's have you for food. So carrot. No, let's do grilled potatoes. Here we go. And we also have a couple of unemployed beavers now. So it's uh, about time we put you to work. Where else can we have you? Food is okay. You're filled with carrots almost. You're in here. So why do we need you? Not really sure. Might do another forester just across... Uh, the, the river here to keep them planting uh, trees and stuff but uh, let's have a look what can science bring us and what should we go for landscaping do we need any levees no I don't think so floodgates no nothing's needed storages that's fine for now hauling might be one housing not really we've got the space large water tank yep that's not a bad idea and let's see beehives Okay. Oh, I do know what we want. And that's going to be windmills. 1,400 points though. Oh dear. Okay, how about the smaller one? Just logs and blanks. 120 points. Might not be a bad idea at all. And this could be a good spot for some windmills. Yep. Okay, so let's get one of these open. I would like to get some more blanks as well. So how about we'll get you here. How much power are you producing? Okay, so we don't need you on the hamster wheel. Let's have you here again. Let's burn through. Oh, stock is full. So we are going to have to create a little bit more storage. Uh, let's do one for the blanks for the for the time being just over there. And then, uh, uh, yeah, let's see. Okay, can we get this built, please? More logs as well. Okay, we have a bit more space to work with now. So that's good. Let's demolish... Uh, wait a second. Further one first. And then uh, where is landscaping? Uh, I guess we could have a dam. Yeah, let's do a couple in here. We'll go over, cross this, and then we have access to... Uh, I guess we could call it a emergency stock over there. All of you guys probably can go. Yep, that's fine. We can plant some more here for decoration if we want it in the future. But for now, let's just take all the logs we can get until we're waiting for these trees. 22%, so what is it? Seven days almost done already for them once. And for you, we are going to have blanks in here. So blanks, paper, nope, not that far yet. Let's put those uh, blanks in here. And... There we go, got a bit of a stockpile. You actually should be planting. Yep, please do that first. And how much food do we have now? Quite a bit. But I'd like to make those farms a little bit bigger as well. And potatoes probably is going to be the main 
main thing we'll do for for quite some time. And uh, it's gonna be interesting actually. Let's take a look at that. We grab one of those beavers. Uh, what do we get? So that's still a strength, okay, and that's life expectancy, which is good. Bread, carrying speed. Wait, another drought already? Oh dear. Okay, we're gonna have to ramp up our production when it comes to water storage. So, large water tank gears. Uh, hundred points, which we have. Okay, let's do that, and we'll have you. We'll have you here. Okay, get to build. Got two unemployed still. You know what? Let's put a third one here whilst we're looking at stuff. So what were we doing? We're looking at the bonuses. Okay, so... Crackers carrying speed. Life expectancy. Pastries carrying speed. Okay. Strength as well. So chestnuts might be beautiful. How do we get chestnuts? I think I noticed that before here, didn't we? Chestnut tree. Require building forester, and it's gathering, so I'm assuming it's the gatherer flag. So, how about, since we do have a forester already here, how about we create this little, I don't know, 5x5, five five, and let's not cut down this section here. Yep, we can take all of those out. Any spare beavers? Not really. And once we get you built, then uh, yeah larger water storages will be will be very handy we do have a healthy stack of blanks already so that's great we'll probably have another builder so we can get stuff done a little bit quicker let's turn you off as well and yeah science points might actually start increasing our beaver population as well let's do yeah let's do another housing i don't know if it's a great idea but Let's put a couple in here. How are the logs? Maples looking. We could probably... Let's try and see. There's one here, here. And then one's... Beautiful. Okay, we can fix up this road finally as well. Thank God. And... Let's get rid of you. So it's a lovely straight road there. And a few more maples. Okay, beautiful. That should be uh, should be enough since we're not using any engines or, or that kind of stuff. So yeah, we should be fine. Okay, keep planting beavers. Get those grilled potatoes in. You still have a bit of a stock, don't you? No, you don't. Okay. Well, I guess it's good. We got a bit more. And I really want to go for those beehives. We can speed up the crop production. Oh, wait, it needs paper. Ah, that's painful. Gears, logs, and planks. Okay. 250 for research, though. So, yeah. Let's, um... Let's increase our research. Observatory. Oh, interesting. 1,000 points, though. And... Uh, what's the what's the third resource there? Is that the re uh, resin? I guess it might be. Anyways, I guess for now, we are just going to be having these ones here instead. Takes a few logs. 29% now, okay. So, slow but steady. And then, I guess we could always go over there as well, don't we? Yep, we can. Now, going up and down, actually, we'll probably want some stairs at some point as well, but that's going to be even more research points. Uh, okay. Do we have enough power? 120, you're... We might not have enough power. Let's turn you off. 120, 170, you're giving us 180. Okay. Well, well yeah, kind of. Okay, so... Uh, things are going. We're okay. This forest is almost done. Logs. Uh, a little bit lower. A few trees left there. I've got a little bit there. Okay, we're soon going to have to move into this location here. Where do we need to place you down? I guess here is fine. Yep, here is fine. Well, there we go. Okay, let's speed it up a little bit more. We got 17 adults now. No one unemployed, so that's great. Everyone's got a, got a job. They can support their family, hopefully. And they're all happy. Somewhat happy, I suppose. Uh, we could probably do a few more potatoes as well. There isn't a huge stockpile. 
But actually, no, we've got quite a few curled ones already in stock, so that's great. Blanks wise, yep, there's a few in there. Now, how many do you produce per day? Uh, I guess we'll have to do the maths on it later. And a few gears coming in as well, so that's not bad at all. 120 for the biggest orange, we are at 113 right now. But we do have a couple of them running. Could use a... Uh, yeah, we, let's do another one. The quicker we get those points in, the better. Beautiful. And the trees are pretty much gone from this area. But the forester has been pretty busy with planting the new one, so that's... Uh, somewhat promising. What's the progress on this now? 34, okay. Um, I have a feeling that we might have to be a bit more conservative about our log, logs usage. So, what do we have up here? Chestnut trees. Okay, so that's what they're gonna look like. Oh, that's very lovely. And they will give you three chestnuts. Nice, okay. Uh, this probably means we're gonna need a gathering flag just about there. Yep. Okay. And maybe we even need some more chestnut trees. You know what? Yeah, let's put a few more. Let's just have a extend this box in here for a little while. Uh, don't worry. It is just the start of the game. In the future, we'll, we'll make things a little bit prettier. I mean, right now, I don't even think we're going to have a district center here, to be honest. Once we get rid of those resources... Probably just turn it into a bit of a forest and then leave it. And... Oh, are you not in range? No, you're not. Okay, that's interesting. We'll probably make a bit of a shortcut here. But yeah, in the future, where I know we'll have a district center is definitely by this lake somewhere there. And uh, this looks like a prime farming almost area. Yep, between those rivers, we'll... Use a bit of dynamite here to connect them up, I suppose. Maybe even through here. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, how is stuff? 140 logs, so that's not too bad. Uh, why are you not doing anything? Oh, power. Yep. So. We need someone there. Six uh, kids in. Uh, probably can take someone out. Let's uh, pause the water production just for... For a little bit, we can bring you back any time. And I don't think we need all of you, so one of you can jump in the hamster wheel. And actually, we're gonna need more hamster power, don't we? Uh, let's check. We need no gears. We have blanks. So... Got a little bit of space here. Oh, we can't put them right... Yeah, of course, makes sense. So, what can we do, though? Uh, we can... Let's try again. No, this is too close as well. Okay, a little tricky. But I guess uh, having a road here would be lovely. Points-wise, 179. Do we want to do platforms to go across? We could do platforms. Okay, we're getting the small one. And I guess we could go... Hmm, we are going to need one here to bring the power in anyways. Ah, uh, that means we need to step down, so we'll also need the power shaft. Or use a building. That takes a few gears, but we have the gear, so that's fine. And then in, let's have a look up here. How much space did you need? Okay, two, Q2, right. Something like that to bring the power in. And I don't want to, well, we don't have access to those stairs just yet, so I guess we're going to make a road through here for now. And then we're still going to have to give them a road across from there. But for the time being, I just want them to, are they able to reach it? Yes, they are. Of course they are. Oh, and even from here, actually. So that's great. Now, when it comes to those shafts, it's going to go through here. So, yeah, that's... Uh, okay, there we go. And we'll connect you up from there. Okay, that's looking good. We'll get some power in very shortly. Because those that, that this one wheel isn't, isn't enough. We could put another one down. Which is probably not a bad idea. 
I mean, we're going to need some paper anyways. We just don't have the points, unfortunately. Could probably also look around and see if we get someone that doesn't have much to do, like you, probably. A few more trees, but you're emptying the storage, so that's fine. Oh, you're done, so you can probably go. Right. Okay, bit of progress. We'll try and get through the early, early game as quick as we can. And... Uh, once we have access to a couple more resources, let's uh, start putting in some different options for food as well. That's going to be it for uh, this episode. Thank you very much for tuning in. And as usual, I hope to see you again in the next one.